Well, Anthony Walker talked about where this team is and what they need to do moving forward. We're five and five, you know, seven games left in the, in the season. Um, you know, let's let's play ball now. You know, there's no no nothing need to be said. Let's go play ball. You know, I'm pretty sure Joe's going to, you know, say oh, I need to do this better. I need to do it. No, we all need to be better. We all need to come in locked in every day. Um, you understand that we're in the playoffs now. You know, if you, you want to be a playoff team, your playoffs just started earlier. You know, we started now. So we're a playoff team right now. We got to play every game like it's a playoff game. Take every day like it's a, you know, we're preparing for a playoff game. And then we'll see where the chips fall after that. But at the end of the day, you know, no more talking, no more, you know, just let's go play ball. And, you know, we'll see, you know, where that where that leads us. Um, you know, we, we're a close, we're a close group. Nobody's, you know, pulling away or anything like that. We're a close group. You know, we hang out with each other all the time. You know, we're we're a close group. Everybody's fine. We just got to, you know, have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all show up on Sunday when we were on the field and go one and know each week. That's it. And Tim Bielek, um, the schedule will give them what they want. They get playoff teams, the Lions. But then you got two with the Ravens. You got the Steelers. You got the Bengals. You got the Raiders. You got the Packers. Uh, so there's plenty of work to do, but Anthony Walker's right. Um, it is in front of them. It, it, nothing has been uh, taken off the table as far as their goals for the season. No question about it. They're still in that mix with, you know, just seven games left to go in the season. And, you know, looking at the schedule, obviously Sunday with a chance to get back right against the Lions. And, you know, you're 6-5 and five and you go up against the Baltimore team on Sunday night that just lost to Miami. And this was a week in week 10 where really the entire division struggled. So it's clear they're only about a game and a half or so out of first place. A win in Baltimore going into the bye, and all of a sudden you're seven and five. You're right on the doorstep of the first place in the division. All of a sudden the outlook changes a bit. When you got Baltimore coming at home and coming to Cleveland, and then you uh, look in the schedule, you got the Raiders who seem like they're starting to slide a little bit. Green Bay is going to be really tough. Pittsburgh's going to be really tough. The Bengals are always tough. And I'm, I looked at the schedules and really did a deep dive. The Browns actually had the second easiest schedule left by winning percentage among teams in this AFC North. So there's not really a team I think that's going to run away with it. That's the really the one positive you can look at from a Browns perspective is the way it's going right now, unless the team gets really hot in the final month of the season, this could still be a division where – you win 10 games or 11 games and you're in. So the Browns has got to take care of business with five division games left. They really do still control their own destiny in some way, shape or form. 